Once the city's highest structure at more than 35 meters high, the White Pagoda stands as witness to historic changes in the Chinese capital in the past over 700 years. As an important venue for Tibetan Buddhism rituals, the temple has been refurbished many times. And the latest renovation just finished this year. I'm now right at the gate of the White Pagoda Temple. I heard that the reopening has boosted the business of some cafes, restaurants, and even hotels in the neighborhood. So my plan today is to make a tour outside the temple to explore some fun. Well, see what I found. Up there on the balcony, there's a coffee shop. It seems that it shares the wall with the temple. I guess the view from there must be fantastic. Let's check it out. A hidden gem set in a history entrenched photons. The unique location of the Lotus Cafe has made it a popular destination for coffee lovers. At times, it's hard to find an empty table, especially on weekends. Coffee aside, the biggest reason to come to this coffee shop is this breathtaking view from its balcony. See, the White Pagoda is right in front of us. The current White Pagoda Temple is only a small part of the original site. The place where our cafe is located should have been part of the temple. When we came here five years ago, it was an old, poorly run supermarket in some disrepair. We weren't optimistic about the site until we went up to the third floor and saw this beautiful view. Then we decided to start our business here. It later proved that was the right choice. Most of the visitors pose for photos on the balcony, with a pagoda looming in the background. Yes, a very good vantage point. But it's not the only one. This is the other side of the temple, and the alley, we call it Hutong, leads to the residential area. From here, we are also able to take wonderful pictures for free. <笑>就是给游人其实会多一些灵感吧 the White Pagoda and red painted walls are aspects of traditional Chinese architecture. Every day from dawn to dusk, the charm of the scenery varies with the change in light. Walking or riding a bicycle through the ancient alleys is also a treat. Sometimes the casual journey brings surprises. After two minutes cycling from the temple, I found this hotel, Z Max. It's not obvious, actually. Okay, this is like the residence of a well off family in the ancient times. Featuring more than 400 year old tiles, traditional courtyard culture, and elements of Suzhou gardening art. The newly opened hotel has garnered attention. The courtyard actually is not big, but it's decorated with every ancient element one can imagine. Just like this pavilion. Actually, this is half a pavilion. So if you're interested in what life was like here in Beijing a few hundred years ago, probably staying here for some time is a good idea. The place used to be a typical courtyard, which fell into disrepair. Renovation has taken more than a year. In the design of the courtyard, we mostly adopted elements of traditional Chinese architecture, such as the pavilion and the corridor. The interior decoration of the guest rooms is a combination of tradition and modernity, given priority to Zen style. 
most of our customers are tourists in the 30s and 40s who are knowledgeable about traditional Chinese culture and would like to experience the ancient life in the capital city. Despite Beijing's hustle and bustle, the preserved area is an oasis of quiet and tranquility. It has added glamour to ancient cultural heritage, giving tourism in the neighborhood a big boost in the White Pagoda, a new lease on life.